Hawthorne is a well-nurtured small island where everything is run and controlled by chef. The Menu is a film about a bonker chef who decides to go out in flames, really, and everything in the design, every idea, every item, every palette within that building, we wanted to be created specifically to represent the vision of Chef Slowick, Ray Fine's character. And on that note, food. For him, food is like a religion. He is the master, so he watches the kitchen prepare the food that he's created or designed. When you walk into Hawthorne, you see that everything has been chosen for a reason. The attention to detail is unparalleled. It's interesting because it's an experience, and all of us, other than Margot, really, are there for the experience of it. Oh, look at that. Food is theater. Food is comedy. Food is drama. Food is satire. The flavors are there. It's very clean. It's very, um, thalassic. Thalassic? Oceanic. The idea that you're pairing that experience with the structure of a film made perfect sense to me. That's fiendish. I didn't really know this world, so I needed people who did. Your eyes are on everything. Everything. I saw the chef's table about Dominique Crenn. I was completely taken with her and her whole vibe and spirit, and then Mark said, oh, she's going to design the food. So I was very excited about that. Dominique Crenn is this extraordinary artist, literally one of the best chefs in the world. In fact, the first woman in America to win three Michelin stars. This is a part of making sure that everyone is on the same page. It was important to also get a sense of who you are as a chef, so his food tell a story of who he is. I think that Dominique Crenn did a brilliant job in designing the dishes. There's a certain kind of like aggression to them in certain senses, which I really like. We specifically wanted Chef Slowick's creations to be beautiful, but somewhat dead. So that enabled Dominique in, in creating the menu to not create a Dominique Crenn menu, but to create a Chef Slowick menu to play the role. Eat! We recruited a team of people, all of whom had experience in kitchens, and we gave them roles according to their experience. In a well-run kitchen, everyone knows precisely their place, both in the hierarchy and the physical space, their, their station. Plating in five. Yes, yes, Chef! I love you all. We love you too, Chef! The satirical element was obviously take that into an almost kind of militaristic zone, but we had to make sure that what they were doing at every moment throughout the film was authentic and actually correct. Whatever we were cooking on the stoves or the grill or anything was always what the next course was, so it really did look like you were planning the night. Bread, it is and has always been the food of the common man, and so tonight you get no bread. David Gelb, the creator of Chef's Table, did a weekend in Adam McKay's offices. And some of my favorite shots in the film came from that weekend. And I really felt as we dropped these shots in that the balance of the film was just fundamentally right at that point. It was a huge moment for me. We really wanted to treat it seriously. Even though the film is very funny, we wanted the food to be like deadly serious. And so we used all the tools that we use on a Chef's Table food beauty shoot to achieve that. Being a part of it was just a dream come true. It's exciting. Food connects people, and you can tell a story through it. We always cook with love, don't we? Yes, sir! Everyone knows love is the most important ingredient.